most likely seen your favorite content creator mention this YouTube glitch. Now, I did my own research, and I've come to the conclusion, at least from what I've seen, that this thing is dependent upon the amount of engagement in regards to the likes and the comments, and it also affects people who post videos daily. Since I don't post videos daily like I used to, for personal reasons, I'll have that video linked in the description explaining that, but I, because I don't post videos on the daily, or even hourly like I used to way back in the days, this hasn't affected me to the degree that other channels have been. But I've been seeing the damage and it is pretty goddamn extensive. There's a lot of content creators that I know personally, um, a lot of guys who are close to me who I've seen their numbers, especially with the sun and moon stuff, and the numbers do not add up to what they should be. A lot of people who are posting these regular videos are seeing dips in their subscriber count. A lot of people are losing views. And like I said, it really does come down to the engagement on the videos. Now, this isn't going to be some kind of claim from me trying to get you to like the videos and comment or trying to hit the bell. You niggas do that shit on your own regard, so I don't really give a fuck. But the fact that you guys are extremely engaging prevents me from seeing those negative effects. And I just wanted to make a video letting you guys know that, yes, I do acknowledge that there is a little something wrong with the YouTube algorithm. My speculation is that they changed it to favor videos more for paid sponsorships. Like we saw this being referenced in a couple of other content creators videos like H3H3. I think he might be on to something to be quite honest with you. It makes sense. I remember seeing MatPat from Game Theory and he gave forth a hypothesis as to what the future of YouTube could look like. And he said, what if one day the algorithm changed to favor videos that pull in more income? Now, I don't think we've reached that just yet, but there's definitely a shift. Now, if I were to start posting videos on a regular basis once more by, you know, multiple a day, I think I could be seeing this thing hit me as well. So it's a little strange right now in terms of how to approach YouTube. What I suggest a lot of you guys who are content creators is to not really slow down the kind of content that you're doing, but just be aware. Try to make sure that if this thing does affect you, keep track of the numbers. Look at your social blades. Look at the way that you gain subscribers every single hour of the day. They have that feature now. And try to see if when you post a video, does this thing affect you in any way? If it does, then I think you already know what it is you gotta do. Maybe slow it down a little bit. Now, thankfully, PewDiePie and a lot of other huge content creators have taken up the torch to be the heroes of YouTube and ask the guys over at the office what the fuck is going on. The strange thing is, is that a lot of people who ask their networks, YouTube themselves, said that they told them there was nothing different. Not a single damn thing wrong. Clearly, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Maybe this is a decision that's made extremely high up on the rungs of YouTube, but I know for a fact there is definitely something different. One thing that really confirmed it for me, like I mentioned, Pokemon Sun and Moon, a lot of people that I knew, I saw huge dips in their subscribers. Um, you know, I don't want to put out too many names, but I got to put out some of them. Shofu. It was a little strange to me that this guy who was posting a bunch of content every single day, high quality in fact, big props on those intros, saw his subscriber count drop so low. A lot of other content creators are seeing these weird things in their sub counts too. I mean, look at Jay Witz on Social Blade. Apparently he lost almost 400, 500,000 subscribers today. Some of the oddest stuff ever. And who knows if it's a Social Blade issue or a YouTube issue, but all I know is that there's something strange going on here. It's a little too early to say for a fact exactly what it is, but I think that you can solidly say that it is dependent on the amount of engagement you have and if you're a daily poster. Maybe YouTube is trying to discourage multiple uploads per day in order to promote better quality content because they know if you're producing a lot of videos every single day, that chances are you're not able to put the amount of effort that you would into it if it was a long produced work over an amount of time. They're saying with regular videos every single day, these might just be clogging up YouTube crap content. We don't want to promote that anymore. We want to promote the videos that one, have long retention, and then two, have a bunch of comments so people can see that there's actually life in the video itself and it's not just some throwaway upload that you did in two hours to be able to get a couple of views on YouTube within a day. That's my thoughts though. Obviously, this is subject to change and probably will as we get more information. I'm going to be looking towards the big dogs when it comes to the research side of YouTube to give us the answers that we seek. But if there's one thing that your boy can acknowledge right now, there is a fucking problem and it needs to be solved quick. The part that sucks and hurts the most, though, is that YouTube hasn't even told us what the hell it is. So all we can do is play with our dicks while we try to anticipate what the future is going to look like for content creators. 
But right now, it's not a comforting one because if they can make changes like this completely under the rug without any notification to the guys that are making the money on YouTube in the first place for the for the website to survive in the first place, then it's not a, it's not a very bright future, I feel. But I don't want to be all gloom and doom. Let's just see where this shit goes. One way or another, it's interesting to see the pot get shaken up in some ways. It sucks that it has to be in such a negative format, but at least we have the big dogs on top of it. That's all. I'll talk to you later. Peace.